Now, Christmas is still a few months away, but in the meantime, anyone who happens to be in London, England, might want to check out the Tate Britain Gallery. It's hosting an exhibition focusing on the work of exiled French artists during the Franco-Prussian War. The Impressionists who sought refuge in London painted many of the city's 19th century. War affects us all, reshapes our lives, makes the history books thicker, and changes the way we look at things. The Tate Britain is showcasing the paintings of French artists, including Claude Monet, James Tissot, and Camille Pissarro, who took shelter in London when their country was reduced to ruins. In 1870 and 1871, there was a, a war called the Franco-Prussian War, followed by the Paris Commune, which was effectively a civil war in Paris. Most of the city was left in, in rebels. And um, Monet and Pizarro came to London, Monet to avoid conscription, and Pizarro because his house was turned into a stable by the occupying forces. The arrival of the Impressionist artists in London didn't just add a few more lines to art history books. The exiled artists interpreted their new surroundings differently and created a series of masterpieces. In Paris, they'd be concentrating on the nightclubs and the cafes and um, the, the clubs. And when they came here, they found actually that they just wanted to draw the beautiful architecture, like around Westminster and St Paul's and Big Ben, but also the mist that surrounded that beauty, because they were interested in colour and how colour changed what they were looking at. And fogs went from uh, pea green to, to dark violet in colour, and they found that so beautiful. Tate Britain is displaying more than 100 works by exiled French artists. Through these art pieces, we see how they saw famous London landmarks, and we feel how they felt about newly found colours of fog. And we understand how artists are still capable of finding inspiration and producing their works, however tough the circumstances.